Hello there and welcome. Think of this for a moment. Do you know that every living soul gets exactly the same amount of time? Exactly the same amount of time. Figure it out. You get all there is. A hobo sleeping under a bridge or on a park bench that has no material possessions, none, does nothing of any constructive nature. That person gets exactly the same amount of time as the most productive industrialist in the world. We all get exactly the same amount of time. So it's what we do with the time that makes a difference. Now, I want you to think of the number of time management programs. Almost everyone under the sun has time management programs. In fact, I made one one time, spent a lot of money on it. And then I found out it was a dumb waste of time and money. Do you know why? Time can't be managed. I was having breakfast with Earl Nightingale one morning, and it was downtown Chicago, and I was going with him on a speaking engagement, and it was early in the morning. He said, you want to meet for breakfast? Whenever Earl Nightingale said, you want to meet me, I was there, and I always had some well-prepared questions. And I remember asking him, I said, Earl, how did you learn how to master time management? You know, we're having breakfast. I can still hear his fork hit the plate. He said, what the hell are you talking about? He said, I've never mastered time management. Nobody masters time management. He said, time can't be managed. He said, I merely manage activity. And he took a little card out of his pocket. And he said, every night before I go to bed, I write down six most important things I have to do tomorrow. These are goal achieving activities. And when I wake up, that's what I start working on. And if I don't get them all done, I'll add them to tomorrow's list. You should, should have about six. Now, if I have three that I didn't get done today, that doesn't mean I have nine for tomorrow, like six plus these three. Those three become part of the six you have to do the next day. When you wake up, you give all your conscious attention to do those things. See, you cannot manage time, but you can manage activity. You can manage your activities. Make certain that what you're doing really makes a difference. Make certain that you're spending your time on activities that are productive, that are taking you in the direction of your goal. Time cannot be managed. Activities can. Manage your activities. I hope you get as much out of that lesson as I've got over the years. It's a big lesson. Spot Proctor, and thank you. Check us out at proctorgallagherinstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.